This episode of Mobile Geeks is brought to you by Ting. Back in 2011, Asus introduced the very first generation of the Pad Phone. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Pad Phone Infinity, which is the third generation of Pad Phone that's just arrived on the market. Check it out. The Pad Phone Infinity is one of the best looking smartphones on the market. Its gorgeous 5 inch IPS display and its aluminum unibody makes it stand out from its competitors. Under the hood, it sports the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 quad-core processor, which is clocked at 1.7 GHz. And of course, it also sports the amazing Adreno 320 GPU. It comes with 2 GB of RAM and versions of 32 and 64 GB of internal memory. It sports a 13 megapixel camera on the back and a 2 megapixel camera on the front. The phone itself just weighs 141 grams and is between 6.3 and 8.9 millimeters thin. Going back to the amazing 1080p IPS display, it also sports Gorilla Glass and an anti-fingerprint coating. When it comes to the battery, it sports the Lithium Polymer 1 with 2400 mAh of capacity, which should easily get you through the day. Let's take a quick look around the device. On the right side, we have the power button and a rocker for the volume. On the bottom, we have a micro USB connector to recharge it and also to connect it to the Padphone station. On the left side is a slot for the micro SIM card and there's a jack for your headset. In terms of integrated sensors, it sports an AGPS with CLONASS, an accelerometer, a proximity, an ambient light, a gyroscope, and an e-compass. The Padphone station sports a 10.1 inch Super IPS display with a resolution of 1900 by 1200. And like the Padphone Infinity smartphone, it also has scratch resistant glass and an anti-fingerprint coating. The Padphone station is 10.7 millimeters thick and weighs about 530 grams. It also comes with a one megapixel front facing camera. The integrated non-removable lithium polymer battery has a capacity of 5000 mAh. Let's take a look around the Padphone Infinity station. So we have a volume rocker here on the left side. There's nothing on the bottom. On the right side we have a micro USB connector and on the top we have a power button. And obviously the slot to insert your Padphone Infinity. The ASUS Padphone Infinity has a lot of customized software. There's everything that we've seen from the first two generations of the Padphone, like the Instant Translate, the Splendid Display, the Audio Wizard. So all these we've seen before and they're great additions. On the Padphone Infinity, they've added a customized launcher that lets you select eight different applications that you can launch directly from the home screen, as well as ASUS Echo and Google Now. ASUS Echo is kind of like Siri, except you can't ask it a lot of questions. You can ask it to engage the smartphone itself. So you can ask it to call somebody, like call Sasha. One of the problems with the previous generations of the pad phones is that when you had an application running on the phone and you inserted the phone into the back of the tablet, the app would crash or it wouldn't resize properly. ASUS has actually done a lot of work. They have the top 100 apps in the App Store working perfectly. In the back end, you can actually select which apps you want to have dynamic switching available. The one that we found that doesn't work is YouTube. So if you're watching a video on your smartphone, you won't be able to insert it into the tablet, which really sucks because YouTube is one of the big apps that you would really want to have working on the tablet. When it comes to the sheer performance, the Padphone Infinity is one of the fastest smartphones on the market. It sports the same processor as the HEC One and the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S4, which is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600. That's a quad-core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz and it sports also one of the fastest GPU on the market, the Adreno 320. When we're taking a look at the benchmarks, you will see some very, very impressive scores. On the Quad One Standard Benchmark, it scored about 12,000 points. On Nanomark, it came in at 61 frames a second. And on Antutu, we reached about 25,000 points. So it's definitely fair to say that the performance of this little quad-core beast will never let you down when it comes to the latest 3D games that are available on the Google Play Store. 
So what didn't we like about the PadFone Infinity? Well, if you're a person that needs to have a micro SD card slot, this doesn't have that. The other big negative is the price. It's a little expensive, so you can pick this up for around $700. In the US, the HTC One, which is of a similar size and of a similar caliber of phone, you can get that unlocked directly from HTC for $575. So the price difference is pretty big. And then when you add in the tablet, that's another $230 to $250 for that. So then it becomes a, an actual very expensive package. And in a lot of countries, you won't be able to buy the smartphone on its own. One other thing that's missing is the keyboard from the original pad phone. They dropped it on the pad phone too, and we didn't see it reintroduced on the pad phone infinity. When you add in the physical keyboard, it adds a whole layer of productivity, plus there's an additional battery inside it. So I hope that ASUS really does could reconsider bringing this back in. And if you are living in the US and you're looking for a device with LTE, that won't be available for you. The LTE bands that are in the phone will only be working in Asia and Europe. <laughs> Here's what we like about the PadFone Infinity. The Snapdragon 600 is a powerful and efficient quad-core processor with great graphics performance. The 5-inch Super IPS display sports a great resolution, has a fantastic brightness and is one of the best displays that is available on the market. The PadFone series is unique in the industry with a phone powering the tablet. It saves you from having to get two SIM cards or organizing data on two different devices. The tablet can act as a battery pack for your phone, so you're actually recharging your phone as soon as you're putting it back into the tablet station. And of course, there's definitely somehow of a coolness factor for having such a device. And last but not least, compared to its competitors, ASUS is offering a really clean installation of Android Jelly Bean, which provides you almost with the vanilla experience of this mobile operating system. Of course, ASUS added some of its own widgets to the home screen and has, you know, some unique software solutions and apps pre-installed. Before we hear the final verdict, why don't we hear from our sponsor? If you're tired of getting screwed on your mobile phone bill and you're in the US, there's a new provider in town that hates hidden fees and is looking to provide fair service for your mobile phone. Ting has built their service on Sprint's network, which means they offer 4G Android phones. If you've already got a phone, you can bring that right onto their network, no problem. What we like about them is the megabytes, minutes, and text messages are each billed separately. If you use less of any of them, then you're credited the difference at the end of the month. Their back end also allows you to see exactly what you've used real time and it even predicts how much you're going to use at the end of your billing cycle. Check out mobilegeeks.ting.com and try their online savings calculator and if you're ready to get started you'll get $25 off most Ting devices or $25 towards a Ting service just for being a Mobile Geeks viewer. So the verdict on the PadFone Infinity. This is definitely a high-end phone. Asus has definitely taken the time to cram in some really luxury features. Personally I really like the handset. Sasha what about you? Well, you know what, when I saw this concept for the very first time during Computex 2011, which is almost two years ago, I was really excited about the modular concept. Right now, especially because I'm just not using a 10-inch tablet at all anymore, I think, you know, it's not really a winner anymore. But I still think that the PadFone Infinity is one of the best smartphones on the market. So I have to disagree just a little bit. I mean, I'm also not a 10-inch tablet user, to be honest, right? I'm more of a, an, I'm, I'm a Nexus 7 girl. But the thing is, when I went to Japan a couple of weeks ago, I traveled with this exclusively, and I really, it, it, it was a real jump for me to go, oh, I don't need to put extra things on my tablet. Everything just goes onto my phone. And I kind of really saw the value of like the business traveler, someone who travels a lot. As a traveling device, 100%. When I got back to Taipei, did I bring it out? No, I'm a Nexus 7 user. I'm a 7-inch tablet user. But on the road, I thought it was kind of interesting. And especially because of this huge battery that's yeah. inside of the tablet station, it's like a 5,000 uh, milliampere hour battery, so you can easily recharge your pad phone infinity twice. So this gives you a lot of juice, especially when you're traveling. But still, like Nicole, I'm not a 10 inch tablet user anymore, and therefore, I'm sorry about that. This would be more something um, for me to keep in the living room. That's where I have my one and only 10 inch tablet at home. 
So I think that we can both agree that the smartphone is top five in industry. The combination, not so much. Especially when we're taking a look at the price point. I think playing for a tablet and a smartphone, roughly about a thousand US dollars, right? It's a little bit too much for me. Yeah, I, I agree. But the smartphone itself, if we put it up, say, against the HTC One, it's at 575 in the US. And this comes in at around 700. So I mean, it's, it's kind of a big price difference between these two handsets. Perfect transition, Nicole. I yeah. think, once again, these are the two best looking smartphones, not only the best looking smartphones that are available on the market, but also in terms of the build quality. We're talking about aluminum union bodies, and they look absolutely fantastic, and they feel good in your hands. So after we've heard all the pros and cons, we've been walking you guys through the hardware and the software. Nicole, what's your verdict on this? Who should buy a pad from Infinity? I think anyone who's looking for a high-end device, I mean, the display is stunning. The build quality is great. It, it's perfect for my hands. The, the Note 2 is just a little bit big for me. I find that this is absolutely perfect. I can fit it into all of my pockets. If, you're looking, like, if, if, we're, if we're going from a lady's perspective, I think this is gorgeous. I think any, any woman would be glad to have it, and I think it's very manly, so it's not exactly a, a lady's handset, but you know, it's tough enough that it can be. <laughs> So if you are on the market for a brand new quad-core 5-inch 1080p smartphone, I think, Nicole, it's very fair to say that if people like the HTC One or, for example, the Sony Xperia Z, they should also love the Padfone Infinity, right? Absolutely. Definitely take a look at it. It's on the market right now. Um, thanks so much for joining us. This has been Sasha Pallenberg. And this is Nicole Scott. If you like our new kind of video review format, just give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and hope to see you soon. Bye.